So, uh, first we draw our little rectangle here. Make your tile that you want to have the engraving on. Then you can do some some spline. Mm, not sure what spline is there. There you go, spline. Or some arc or something that you want to engrave the, your waves. Okay, I'll just do some some example like that. Okay. However you want them. Then you save this. Um, save. I was saving my desktop. Waves. Then uh, we go to the Pegasus. Pegasus, you have a new field here. You have drawing. So you go to this side, drawing. And you import, input CAD. So not not you do not need to do it from here anymore. You need to go here, import, input CAD. And then we go to the desktop and uh, we import our waves. Okay, just wait a second. So it's got our waves. And now from here, we qualify the shape. This one, right click. And then select notch geometries, we just select all of these. And then right click and done. Inside here is uh, save and close. Okay, then we go right click, open shape document. Uh, we remove these as notches. Uh, this one, delete uh, shape internal area. Sorry, uh, no, 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 is uh, is remove notches, then select everything, right click, then you um, add grooving, then you do one, two, three, and four, right click, and then you take in the depth. They obviously is in um, is in inches here, is in millimeter, and then exact on both points. That means that it will stop the blade on the end of your uh, of your line. Uh, true cutting means the center of the blade will cut to the to the end of your wavy line. So uh, we can do exact for this, and then save and close, and it will work the same way. So you make your your slab. Obviously, you need to import your picture, make your slab, and then um, cutting that you create your slab, and then you place your parts on your slab. And then it should go. Um, should go slowly, uh, sorry, it should go the, the cutting, automatic cutting. Then it should calculate. And then you go in simulation, and it will do your uh, your waves. Obviously, the the less deep you go, the the better the better will engrave. Yeah, and we can do like a little bit higher accuracy. Uh, right now, yeah, it looks weird, but if you do uh, a little bit like maybe uh, 2000 or something accuracy, we can probably see it better. Yeah, that's what it will look like. That's how you engrave uh, with the blade.